Hi, I'm Craig Harding. I'm the chef owner of Campagnolo Restaurant in Toronto. Now, convection ovens can cook food quicker and more evenly than your conventional oven. Your yeast spreads are lighter, they're more evenly textured, and they're crustier, which makes it perfect for my orange drop scones. Okay, so before we begin mixing our dry and our wet ingredients, it's very important that we set our oven, we preheat it to 400. So for this recipe, we're gonna need a stainless steel bowl, we're gonna need a lightly floured baking sheet. If you have one of those non-stick sill pats, those work incredibly well. So here we've got our dry ingredients mix. We've got the flour, the sugar, the baking soda, a little bit of salt. A little secret to achieving a great light and fluffy scone is to not over mix your wet ingredients. So you start with your dry ingredients in the bowl. We then have our cream, which we've infused with the orange zest. I would give it at least 15 minutes to kind of develop that flavor. Now, I'm gonna add my cream to my flour. And like I said, I don't, I don't want to mix it. I just want it to barely come together. So I'll put it all in, and I'll make sure that I get all the orange zest out of there. And using a spatula, just lightly bring the two ingredients together. So this is a recipe that's been passed down from my mother-in-law to my fiance, Alex. And she tweaked it just a little bit. She added orange zest and it really makes all the difference in this recipe. It's not necessary to make a ball or to form it into a perfect shape. What you want is these irregular sort of drops. As you, as you drop the scone and as it bakes, it kind of forms these little nooks and crevices and gets golden brown on all the different sides. Again, you know, if they don't look perfect, that's fine. It's better. A little character is always nice when you're baking. Okay, now that we've arranged these on the baking sheet, I just want to top them with a little sugar. So now that our scones are on our tray, we've got a little bit of sugar on top, let's get them in the oven. We've got our oven set to 400 degrees. We're going to put the timer on for 15 minutes, then we'll come back and have a look. Okay, timer just went off. Let's have a look and see how our scones are doing. Look at that, they're perfect. All right, golden brown. There you have it. Hot, fresh, right out of the oven, orange drop scones. Perfect for a Sunday brunch. And for more recipes or information, visit the Facebook page at facebook.com slash Panasonic Cooking Canada.